Wrath, what's with the uh, butterfly swords? Just trim the tree. <laughs> Man, I'm good. I should have been a barber. Whoa, that's dank. Hello, this is Epic Souls, where I discuss my favorite episode of mine of one of my favorite properties. In this case, it's TMNT 2003. From a franchise started from two waiter roommates from a whim to a cultural phenomenon, TMNT as a brand has seen almost 40 years of relevancy, dipping its three turtle toes into every conceivable media ever existed, from comics, cartoons, movies, video games, and more. But since we're at the holiday season, I think it's best to cover a TMNT Christmas-related property. That's actually good. From one of its iterations, the 2003 series being 20 years old, I thought it would be best to cover the only singular Christmas episode of this, of any other TMNT show that, that no other series did before or after. We begin in the episode's code, no pun intended, opening already in action as a slowly city chases in progress accompanied by the narrative commentary by Michelangelo. It's a definite chase through the streets as Mikey alone is pursued by the purple dragons. But for what reason? We get past the opening theme, which, by the way, is a good theme in its own right and doesn't need to rehash the 87 theme, which is good, but other themes are just as good. Anyway, we're led to the earlier time of the free spirit Michelangelo explored the city at Christmas time with a skirmish at Central Park as well as befriend a stray kitten. Meanwhile, in the lair, decorative ornaments grace the lair as, as Splinter, the remaining turtles, and their allies are about. Haha, <laughs> what a lunkhead. Meanwhile, again, in a scene reminiscent of the comic issue from Mirage, Mikey does some lucrative window shopping, and would you hear the sheer excitement of it all, especially on this universe's equivalent of the hot toy of the market. Little Orphan Alien. As Mikey admires his kitten friend, the puck kicks off with trouble afoot. Being vigilant, the lone turtle scopes the situation as sneakily as he can, with hoodlums robbing the truck driver blind of the shipment of the hot toy, which is being donated towards the local orphanage. Ho, 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 bozo. <laughs> Man. Ah, shoot, they crossed the line. Get him, Mikey! Better. Or maybe not so. Never mind. Mikey has the advantage and solo braves the barrage of bullets or uh, lasers and scores into action as the hoodlums succeed in their getaway. Mikey finds the situation amusing with his with makeshift street looting in a rather empty and quiet street as the hoods aren't giving up their loot without a fight as they made the mistake of severely underestimating their opponent as Mikey dodges and usurp the robbers one by one as their backup was alerted. Ha! And then Mikey commandeers the vehicle, safety first, to transport the toys back but headway he crosses their oncoming backup. Will our hero escape? Who knows? But back home? Casey returns with guests, otherwise friendly side characters and allies of this team in T-verse, which consists of a Superman XV, four more homeless friends of theirs, starting with Don's friend, the Professor. And happy Kwanzaa! Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, we got a Kwanzaa reference here. By the way, the guy who voices him has a really excellent podcast called The Heart of the Cards. Link in the description below. Okay, now the meet and greet is out of the way. Back to the action. Mikey getting five wanted stars with relentless destruction of property. Well, amazing while the doors remain open and nothing was lost. And then Mikey gave them the slip. Meanwhile, again, Casey went and get a bit of Nookie from April with Mistletoe with failed attempts and without a kick to the nuts. April humors them with a faint slap. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, right in the kissing. Holy but Jesus. A mystic portal appears, and guess who shows up? More allies! That's right, 
It's the Damia with Miyamoto Usagi and Geno Suk from the Battle Nexus arc. This series was my first introduction to Usagi Ojimbo, and I was much interested in him ever since. In fact, from 2015 to 2018, I made him my signature cosplay that I've created myself. Anyway, the gif exchanging aside, we return to the action as Mikey finds himself at the behest of a police chief. Will he escape? Damn right he did. Back home, uh, yeah, the holiday gathering is present, and a feast full of festivities is soon to happen. Minus one participant. Mikey, who's doing what Blue did in that one episode of Fosters. But where could he be? Oh, uh, that's right. And damn, did he gave him a slip. Mikey darted towards home, meeting the present guest, and after getting the coldest scolding ever, Mikey, where have you been? But not before regaling his friend about the sentiment of being giving towards others, especially towards those the less fortunate. Uh, 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 Raph, remember, this is supposed to be a season of giving. It's Christmas Eve. It's a time to remember those less fortunate than ourselves. In fact, it's a time not to think of ourselves at all. And I am just the tick. Which leads to the most wholesome following scene. <laughs> Turtles as elves and their allies as they hand out the little orphan alien dolls at the orphanage with the surrounding children enjoying themselves. And look at that, Santa Splinter. I guess the turtles don't have to worry about Trying to get a gift, 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 trying to get I'm sorry. Anyway, we close out with Mikey wishing all a happy holiday as it ends. Happy holidays, everybody! Anyway, that was TMNT, the Christmas Alien. And while I still enjoy all those years later, it was split between Mikey and the rest and shows a side to him we don't get to see that very often. His selflessness, sure, he's no stranger to being lackadaisical, but he makes up for it with heart as we see here with a brief but meaningful interactions of the team and their allies, friends, and one during the holiday season. Heck, it's a pretty good underrated Christmas episode of many that exist. And it is included with their recently released complete series of the 2003 series. Speaking of which, has had two major releases of this ep. One in a DVD released by Funimation titled Michelangelo's Christmas Rescue, released by Funimation. And the one Nickelodeon released later on called Cowabunga Christmas. In closing, the start of a new series is one of many. What else I can cover for episodes, episode 2? Stay tuned, friendorinos.